Good morning, everyone. It's the first time I'm out of bed before noon, but I'm helping my mama make some risotto. And we're also gonna answer some questions. Okay, we'll prepare all the ingredients. So, mince, no, dice. Uh, onions. I have chef friends, they're gonna hate me. Hi, Neil. <laughs> Hi, Julia. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you supposed to cry? Why am I not? You cry, that means you will not get along with your mother in law. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do together? Not cook. Discuss. I like talking to you. Discuss. Life. Yeah, the and lessons my mother never told me. And cheese me. <laughs> And she's me. Is your mama more like a cool mom or a strict mom? <laughs> well, I'm not strict, but I want her to be responsible. Like, tell me where, when, we do, what time you're coming back, and all of that. Who's the spender between the two of you? Me! Okay, but she good. gets after me. Yes. But I have money to spend. I have money. I make, I make money to spend. I have to earn it. Yes. That's what I tell my kids. How did you come up with Sophie and Maria's name? Ah! Oh, easy. No, but you have to tell the story that if, if we were a boy, if we were boys. Okay, for Sophie, this is so funny. We didn't want to know her gender until she was born. What? Yeah. So we had two names, one for a girl and one for a boy. As in, it was my mom and my sister who knew their gender. So I was buying everything yellow and green and white and cream. That's why. Yeah, that's why we had a lot of yellow baby stuff and green stuff. So we had two names. Well, I wanted to name them after royalty. So for, for a girl, I wanted Sophia. And for a boy, I wanted Juan Carlos. <laughs> so the Conchitina, actually I wanted Conchita. I wanted a fierce, Fierce name, Conchita. Maganda pag gagalit ka, Conchita. Halik ka rito. <laughs> My mother-in-law wanted something more feminine. more feminine, less less scary. That's why it became Conchitina, Sofia. But that's it's it. still it's still Conchitina. Come here. Yeah, sige na try na. Conchitina, halik ka rito. That's it, mo. How do you feel whenever you see your daughter growing up into a fine lady? Huh? Fine lady? I'm a fine lady, excuse me. I was telling her the other night. <laughs> we were talking about one of uh, Maria's friends who is going through a difficult phase at grade 10. I told Maria, My God, do you remember your sister when she was in grade 10? I wanted to sell her. Okay, so she was really For free. free. She wanted to well, sell. Sophie wanted to ask me. Well, Sophie asked me how much was I willing to sell. I was, I said for free just to give her away. Give away, give away. But not now. She loves me now. Okay, game. Game. Okay, let's what they are ready. Yay! I like this part. Hi, Sophie's mama. When do you think is the right time or age to have a boyfriend and to settle down? Huh? Okay, boyfriend first. Boyfriend. boyfriend uh, prefix. Mommy had boyfriends. Yes, plenty! Of course! I'm plenty plenty! At a young age. No, no, man. It was like... Call me on the telephone kind of thing. High school, which then I saw him once or twice. So it was just, you know... Puppy love! When you're ready, I guess. I mean, what's the definition of ready? It's nice to have an inspiration. And you can manage your other responsibilities. Your boyfriend is your inspiration to work harder. Right now, you graduate at 21, right? 21, 22. 28 would be 28 to 30. This is comment. Your mom is cool. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> so yesterday, I got lessons on the ship sailing from my baby daughter. I go, explain, explain, what does that mean? So, the ship has sailed. <laughs> not having a boy? Uh, no. I, you should ask your dad, not me. I'm happy with my girls. Okay, now you keep on stirring until the liquid becomes half. Really? Yeah. So that's why you're in here? Yeah. What 
what's your typical mom and daughter date? Massage! Yeah, we have a lot. Like, get our nails done. Yeah, massage. massage. Grocery. Grocery. Shopping for stuff she needs. Yeah. Yeah, this one's a shopping girl. Ow! It's flat splatter. Okay, we really finish this liquid. Are you kidding me? No. The heck? This is so hard. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. To Sophie's mom, how can you how can you manage to still look pretty? Stay happy. Good facial muscle exercise. And if uh, your kids are difficult, sell them. <laughs> There's a question uh, like how do you guys have such a good mother and daughter relationship? But we never had it growing up. It was hard because I was hard. So when did it all change? I can do that, mommy. When did it all change? College? College, after graduating. Really? Yeah. And then you had difficult, you have spurts of difficult yeah. uh, moments. Like the start of the MECQ, which was approaching her birthday. She was difficult. So difficult. But she, she gets over it. Then it's all lovey-lovey. And then she's all lovey-lovey again. When I'm strung up, or or stress right now. She calms me down. Yeah, I do. Yeah, she she says, "Mom, mom, breathe, mom. I can do it, mom." So you know, so parang because I feel sometimes you know it's all me during this this difficult time, cooking, cleaning up, making sure there's food, everything. And then she goes, "Mom, kaya mom, ako na lang." I think as the eldest daughter, I keep this family together. <laughs> hmm. I do. Guess who initiates dinner table conversations? Me. Talaga? Yes. You're the last one to get into the. Yeah, but no, I make your up. Dad, your dad's the one who's so good. How close are you guys? Very close. Very close. She borrows my clothes. <laughs> Is that a measure of closeness? And shoes, and and shoes makeup. and bag and jewelry. I'm yes. not, I'm not the dumb of the mommy. If Sophie actually wanted to go to La Salle, would you have allowed it? No. And oh, ah, uh, daming. How do you maintain a good relationship? How do you maintain openness? Blah blah blah. Well, I have to be. Well, I'm a mom first, and then a friend. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, open communication. Keep it open, and then keep on sharing. Even. Yeah, but I share naman my down, yeah. my downs and my ups and the. Uh, but I'm a mother first. Do you, the texture of the rice is gonna be on top. Oh yeah. Still hard. Okay, what's one piece of advice you can give me? Okay, here. Uh, finish your studies, do well. Ask questions if you don't understand. Ask. Don't be ashamed to ask. Don't be afraid to ask. That's what I keep on telling. Even Maria, like, you know, your teacher will not fault you for asking him to clarify something or asking her to clarify something. It's good to be knowledgeable, right? Yeah. As a, in the dark. Ask. If somebody says, how are you, Sophie? You answer. I'm good, thank you. How about you? Correct. Always follow up. And then after school, get a job, earn, enjoy your money first. Enjoy, enjoy your hard work. Okay, do things that, uh, that you'd like to do without asking your parents. And keep everything tidy. Tidy place is a reflection of... Well, it, it, it's more calming to be tidy, to have tidy surroundings. Diba, Anna? Yes, mommy. Okay, wait, let me... Okay. Ay! Ano ba yan? Gosh! So this is the consistency now. Very... Yes. Oh no! Thank you, Mama. Bye. Bye.